Well, this weekend's monsoon storm forced about 40 people from their homes. Rainwater flooded at least 12 condominiums in a Glendale apartment complex. CBS 5's Donna Rossi joins us now live. She's in Glendale. And Donna, this has to be very frustrating for the people out there. Is management of the complex, are they helping them in any way? Well, they do have cleanup crews and mold experts on site that we saw here today. Uh, and they did say that they would prorate the rent of these folks for the time that they are out of their condos. But this issue is not new to this complex. So we don't know what yet, if anything, management is going to do about what seems to be a bigger problem. This was engulfed in water up to, you can see the water line. Reuben, his wife, and young daughter woke up to a flooded apartment Sunday morning. Many of their personal belongings are ruined. That off the roof comes into here, flows through there and down here, and no one's doing anything about it. Rainwaters forced Reuben and the residents of at least 11 other lower level condos at the Glen condominiums out of their homes. I had to walk out of my, vacate my apartment with my two children, one and two years old, through about three and a half, four inches of water. This is not the first time these units have flooded. The problem, these residents say, is poor drainage in certain parts of the complex. And they know we're on the lower level, so why not have the, the correct drainage system in place? The problem is undeniable. I don't want to be videotaped. A representative from Cornerstone Management would not address the issue on camera, but said they hired a cleanup company and are working with residents to relocate them or get them back in their condos. I have nowhere to go with my kids. Thank God for Red American Red Cross. They were able to help us at least get a hotel um, until this is resolved. Now, some of these condos are actually privately owned, so the displaced residents that are in those kinds of condos have to deal directly with the owner of their own condo. In Ruben's case, the gentleman we talked to, he actually got an immediate termination of lease letter saying he had to get out because of the damage, but we're told that that condo owner did say that he would give him the full deposit back as well as a full month's rent. Reporting live in Glendale, Donna Rossi, CBS 5 News.